the loneliest road in the world James Dalton Highway Alaska Alaska has some of the coldest roads on the planet but James H Dalton Highway is regarded as the coldest and the most isolated road in the world If you can drive this road you can drive anywhere in the world The road was built in 1974 as a supply route for the Trans Alaska Pipeline system and is named after James H Dalton the Alaskan born engineer who directed and supervised its construction Despite its bleak isolated and remote setting it is often navigated up to 150 trucks in summer and 250 trucks in winter James Dalton Highway is a two lane gravel road that stretches for 414 miles connecting the city of Fairbanks and Dead Horse near the Prudhoe Bay oil fields fuel is only available at three places over the entire course of the route headlights must be switched on at all the times the highest point on the route is Atigan Pass at an elevation of 4739 feet Some of the rules of this road are big trucks have the right of way, slow down when passing other vehicles, if you spot wildlife, pull over to a safe spot and stay on the right side of the road. The speed limit on this road is 50 miles per hour. June to mid July is the ideal time for driving this route. Travel should be done by pickup SUV, AWD, high clearance vehicles only. Small cars and motorcycles are highly discouraged. There is no cell phone coverage and some satellite phones do not work. It is advised to pack plenty of supplies because there are only 3 villages along this 666 km road with a population of 60. Coldfoot at mile 175, Wiseman at mile 188 and dead horse at mile 144 the road is mostly built on top of the icy permafrost sudden changes in the weather can make the driving even more dangerous high risk of avalanches huge potholes extremely high speed winds freezing temperatures of minus 80 degree fahrenheit sharp turns steep grades up to 16% low visibility and on top of this huge 18 wheel semis barreling towards you several corners on this road have their own name such as oh shit corner roller coaster and the shelf to name the few there are no medical facilities along the road and it is advised that anyone traveling the road should bring survival gear and plenty of supplies So that's pretty much it for this week. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Until next week. Thank you and goodbye.